Alright guys, here we are for another part of this uh, syringe making tutorial. So in the last part we couldn't get our uh, our blue texture to emerge, but it's really easy to fix here. We just have to select our glass material, go all the way down and turn off traceable. And that fixes it. As you can see. So now we just gotta mess around a little bit. We still have to work a lot on this uh, metal texture. I'm not liking it at the moment. Let's go ahead and uh, change our uh, glass settings a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn this to a tangent shading as well. Let's go ahead and turn off this gloss. It's annoying me. Let's try and turn the IOR to um, 2.1 maybe. Yeah. Looks good. And uh, let's go ahead and turn up the translucency. Probably help it. Let's, uh, turn up the diffuse all the way up. Okay, that should look better. Let's go ahead and select this here, our uh, our pad thing here. Let's add a new. Let's just call it pad. I don't know what else to call it. And let's just make this a grayish texture, dark gray, almost blackish texture. Okay, um, some weird effects going on here. I have to change that in a minute. Let's change it right now. Uh, maybe turn the I think the diffuse is what's making it do that. Mm, yeah, so I just gotta turn it all the way down. Turn the diffuse down. That should help. Yeah, that helps a lot. Okay. Now, select our blue material. Let's go ahead and turn the diffuse intensity all the way up. Let's turn uh, transparency to ray trace. IOR to point. Let's say 5, 1.5, turn the alpha down, say there. Let's go ahead and turn the specularity up, as well as the hardness. Oh, shading. Let's just put emit to 0.1 and a little bit of translucency. That looks cool. Let's see what else. Maybe low Fresnel. Yeah, try it out. Mm, it looks okay for now. Let's go ahead and uh, start working with the material nodes. So let's go into the node editor here. And where it says material nodes here, you want to press use nodes. And we're going to have to use this for our, our uh, visualization. So we want to go ahead and select our fluid. Because for some reason it doesn't uh, show here yet. So uh, first things first, let's go over here to our texture nodes here. Let's add a new one see uh, it changes here so let's add a texture here actually we have to press use nodes let's get rid of this checkers uh, pattern let's go to textures uh, Veronoi I don't know how to spell it or uh, pronounce it but that's what it is so let's go ahead and change these colors here so the bottom color I want it to be this color so uh, change RGB to hex down here and just copy the hex number uh, with control C and then just uh, put it down here Okay, so for the top color, I want it to be a dark red. Get it darker than that. Mm. Right about there. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the size. Uh, the size is okay. Maybe the scale. Let's uh, play around with these here. Let's pronunciate the red a little more. Okay, so now that we have that there, we'll, we'll continue playing with that. But first, let's go ahead and add, press uh, Shift A, add RGB curves, and then press Shift D to duplicate it. And now we're just going to mess around. So let's just uh, connect this first one up here. Let's connect both like that. So with this first one, we're going to make the bring out the lightness, the lighter parts. Uh, more. We'll just mess around until we see something we like. Let's go ahead and add another one here. Just click and let's make a sharp S type color. Uh, that looks cool, but let's do it the opposite way so we can bring up the lighter contrasts. Uh, continue playing 
with it. Maybe uh, we have to bring this top one up here and this bottom one down and make a sharp curve. Not a sharp curve, it's just trying to make a normal S. Let me just, uh, yeah, control delete some of that stuff. All right, there we go. So let's just start over with that. Actually, until we get that done, let's just go ahead and uh, do the dark part. So uh, let's just go ahead and make a sh an S here, like this. And you see we get that nice, cool texture there. And uh, let's tr see what this one looks like again. Yeah, but this one we can just bring out the red. So let's just go to the red. This uh, instead of color, let's just go to red, and we'll just bring out the red. Oh, we have to connect this here. Uh, we're just playing around with it. Maybe do what we did down here. Except in, maybe inverse it. Anyway, that looks fine. We can tweak it some more. So let's shift select both of these and add a mix node. It doesn't matter which one's on top as long as you turn the factor to 1. And let's turn this to screen and s add them together, see what they look like. Hmm. Didn't seem to mix them together. Wonder why not? Maybe if we change it up here. Hmm, this is kind of strange. It didn't mix them like I wanted them to. If I had to co go to color here, no. Uh. Oh well, I don't even think we uh, need to add two because this bottom one looks really cool. Let's go ahead and give it a test render. Yeah, that looks pretty alieny. But we get some kind of stretching here, and there's a really uh, easy way to fix that. We just gotta change the the x scale. I don't know where they moved that though. Ah, over here. We need to turn the size on the x up or down. I'm not sure which one. Maybe it's the offset. I don't know. Cause uh, things have changed here. Coordinates generated. Maybe let's, let's just try that since it's not directly responding to it. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay, yeah, we'll just tweak this texture. It looks fine. So we don't need this RGB curve anymore. Oops. Or the mix node. So we can just use this. Let's change some of these values a little bit. Bring out the red. Oops, added one on accident. Let's make this red a little bit brighter. Brighter now. Let's check on time. I have a feeling we're almost up. Yeah, we are. So let's give it a test render again. Eh, I like the black, darker texture better. So let's just bring down this. We just want a hint of red. And uh, this uh, currently affects the color, but we can uh, have it affect other things too. Uh, maybe the emit values. No, that's. I think we're pretty good here. Why is it still? Oh. That looks cool. All right, so let's go ahead and stop this part for now. And I think we will try to wrap this up in the next part. We'll try. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.